Hey, how's it going? And today I'm excited to bring this tutorial about animation montages. This is kind of a complex topic. There's a lot involved with it. There's a lot of confusion. There's also a lot of tutorials around and there's some really good ones. I don't know if you've ever had the issue of where you're following a tutorial and it's you're following along and it's going like perfectly and then you get to one step and then it's out of date or it doesn't work or something like that. And so I try to be mindful of that and try to stay current, but Unreal Engine is constantly changing. So it's really a challenge to stay current with everything. So that's one of the reasons I want to do this tutorial is because I want to bring it current to 5.3. Smart Poly did an excellent tutorial on animation montages, but it's two years ago and it's, it's really out of date. I hope this is helpful. So I've broken this into two parts just because there's a lot involved with it. So I want to walk you through as much as I can so you're not questioning like, how did I how did I do this? How did I do that? The main question is, well, where am I going to get the animations from? Easiest place to get them is from Mixamo. And I did a tutorial. Right now, there's actually a Black Friday sale going on. And you can get the old Mixamo retargeter system for like $15, I think. And so I think it's worth it. But it only works in UE4. So, so anyway, what I have is I have a bunch of UE4 FBX animation data files. So that's what I've done. I've, I went into UE4, I converted all the Mixamo into UE4 mannequins, and then I just exported out the animation data only without the skins. I have a collection of those now. I have almost a hundred of them. I'm building up a library of all these UE4 animations based on Mixamo characters. And then they're real easy to convert to UE5, and I'll walk you through that right now. So what I'm importing right now are UE4 files, FBX files, based on Mixamo animations. So there's no Mixamo associated with them at this point. They're just originally started as Mixamo, but now they're UE4 animations without the skin. So that's what we're going to import right now. So to start, we're going to go into Add, and I'm going to go to Import. And I, have a, I just put a folder on my desktop, I believe, for these. So let's see here, it's Mixamo. Yeah, so these are all UE4 animations. Just no skin attached, just the animation data. So the ones we're gonna want are, I'm gonna pick kind of following that smart poly tutorial from a long time ago. I'm gonna hit control and I'm gonna get entering car. I'm going to get MMA kick, Northern soul spin, quad punch and reload. And I'm getting these because these are basically root animations here, and these are from the hip. So that's what we're gonna be doing in part two. So I'm gonna go ahead and go open. And there's some settings on here. I, I used to just blindly, you know, just import. But the one thing we do need to do is tie this to the UE4 skeletal rig, because those are UE4 animations. If they were Mixamo animations, I would tie it to the Mixamo skeleton. So here we do want to click snap to closest frame. Let's see, going down, we want bone tracks. We do not want to import curves. I think that's pretty much it. And I think everything else is on the default here. I don't see anything else that we need to adjust. Oh, I guess we do want the uh, default sample rate. So default sample rate snap to closest frame we don't want to import the curves and I don't see anything else on here okay and then we'll just go import all and we'll see this takes a little while so we'll see if we get any errors oh it didn't take too long at all okay so it looks like I got my characters all in. I didn't get any errors at all, so that's fantastic. And now I'm just going to go save all. So now these are all animations and I can just drag them into the scene and they'll, they'll work straight out of the box like this one. I can just drag it in and hit play and it starts playing perfectly. And the thing about these animations is that they're very well done. Like they're very smooth. They're not jerky at all. They're just really fantastic to use. Okay. I noticed his hands kind of went in the ground there a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty good. Okay, so we'll just, I'm just going to delete him out of the scene. I just wanted to show you that that worked. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert these into UE5 mannequins. And that couldn't be easier to do. We just go into characters here. We go into UE4 mannequins here. We're going to go into rigs. And Unreal Engine has built this retargeter for us. So it's fantastic. So we just double click this. 
and there's the old and there's the new and we just select the animations that we want to convert so i i want the entering car one i want the mma kick i want the quad punch and i want the reload and then i simply just go export selected animations i'll just put them on the content level and i'll go export and they all exported and are retargeted and now if i come up here you'll see i've got the same animations now but now whoops i brought them all at one time if i just bring that one in and hit play now look i've got the ue5 guy oh look at that that was funny we've got the ue5 mannequins yeah i noticed some of his hands are kind of going to the ground there a little bit but other than that the animation looks looks fine Okay, so then if I were to just start and say, hey, I've got my UE5 animations, you'd be like, well, where did he get them from? So that's where I got them. So this is where we kind of start from is we've got our animations. I'm just going to go save all. Okay, so there are our five animations. Now, what I want to do is convert these to animation montages. That's even more simple to do. We just simply click on them. We can, I think I can select them all, right click, and just go create animation montages, and it automatically does it. Now you might be asking one of the things is like, what's the difference between an animation sequence and a montage? And they share a lot of similarities, like one thing about a sequence is it can be they can both be played within the, the game level, in the game scene. They can both be triggered by a blueprint. But the animation montage really gives you more, con has more output controls. And it can be played in an animation blueprint, whereas animation sequence can't be played in a blueprint. And really you can think of the sequence as like the building block of a montage. As you just saw here, we created our montages from the sequences. So you can almost think of montages as animation sequences plus with extra features. It also allows for what I call vertical blending of animations where you can you can blend animation sequences together using the sequencer, but you can't blend an upper body and a lower body with a animation sequence. You, you can only do that with a montage. So those are some of the differences between them. But you can think of a montage as just giving you a lot more flexibility and control over an animation sequence with the possibility to blend. And it also has networking applications too. So, But they are very similar in the beginning. But we have to convert these into montages so that we can use them in our and so we can access them in our animation blueprint so that's where we are right there now i want to just show you the last thing i'm going to end with and i just did a tutorial about this is i was just talking about we can trigger animation montages through a blueprint so if i come into the blueprint here and i go into blueprint and i go into the bp third person here's our our blueprint right so I can right click and go play, oops, I'm in caps, but play montage, play anim montage. This, there's two of these nodes, and this one has less features than the other one, but the one thing about this is you don't have to hook it up to the skeletal rig. It's already, it's already rigged up. It's already set up that way. All we have to do is select the montage we want to play. So let's say we'll do that soul spin one, and I'll just get a keyboard press here keyboard press one and I'll plug this in right here and you see here where it says start section name in our montage we can break the montage into sections and then we can trigger it to play at different times with a different timing so that we don't have that set up yet so we don't need a section name but we can play just a section of a montage that holds multiple animations. That's one thing a sequence can't do either. So a sequence is a singular animation sequence. An animation montage can hold a bunch of animation sequences together too. So that's another difference. But if I hit play, I'm going to show you the, the problem that we're going to have here. And I just did a little short tutorial about this. So I hit play. And here's my first person character, third person character. And I hit one to play the montage. Look what happens. It gets all tied up. It's, it's a mess, right? So that was freaking me out. We can fix this. So I'm going to go ahead. So what we got to do is we got to go into our animation 
blueprint. So one way to do that is if we go into our, our montage here, I think they're back here on the content level, yep. So if I go to this one here, there's our montage, it seems to be working fine. If I click here, this will take me into the, the Manny blueprint, which is basically the parent animation blueprint that's controlling everything. And if we click on the anim graph, we'll see that we've got this situation where this slot is where our montages play from. Because if we come in here and we, we click here, you'll see it's on the default slot group. Well, that's where this animation, so it starts playing, but then it, it goes into the control rig, which I believe it does like an IK trace and ties it to the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna reverse these and that seems to solve the problem. But we also want to do a thing where we're gonna combine some animations. We're gonna do some hip and uh, root animations and, and break those out in the next tutorial. So to prep for that, what we're gonna do, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this little problem that we're having. So I'm just going to click and drag this kind of over here and this down here. And we're just going to reverse the order of these. So we're gonna drag that into there, this into here, and that into there. And this seems to take care of that problem we were having. So it, this seems to rectify that problem. But now we've got to set things up so that we can have, because we can only have one main states. So we've got to, what we got to look for is we're going to right click and search for something. I think it's called save cache, new saved cache pose. And we can just call this, click on this here. And we'll just call this main states. And the reason we're doing this will become clear in the next video, but I'm just gonna call this, let me see, what am I doing here? Main states pose. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna plug this into here. And this will allow us multiple access points to this because it can only have one. So we're making kind of like a tributary so be so that we can branch out of this because this can only have one output and we want multiple outputs. So we're putting it into a, a node that allows us to split it apart. So what we're going to search for now is use cache pose here, main states, and we're going to make two of these. So I'll hit control D and make another copy. And then we'll just pop this one into there. And now what we'll do is we'll compile and save and you'll see everything's working. And then in the next tutorial, I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna start blending our montages together so that you'll see how this all works. So I'm gonna stop right here and I'll be back. But let me just test this to make sure that this is working now. So I'll close this and I'll close this. And if I come in here and I go play and I hit one, you'll see everything's working fine. And then we just keep going. Yep. And so this brings us current to what we need to do. So anyway, please stay tuned for part two. It should be coming out within just a few hours.